Hello friends. It's going to be a bit of a long chaotic video. Okay. <laughs> My gosh, this has been one I've been putting off for so long. First off, I just want to say the gold makeup, the gold little crazy makeup is from a makeup collab I was doing with a little community group. Um, it was a new year's look, so we decided to go gold. However, Today's video is ranking all of the palettes I've tried in 2023. I know I'm a few weeks late. My goal is to get this up at the end of 2023 or very beginning of 2024. However, I've been sick. I've just been lacking motivation. And honestly, there's no excuse, but here we are. <laughs> so I've seen a lot of people ranking their palettes from like if they've tried 50, 50 being the worst to ranking number one, the best palette they've tried all year. I have palettes that were given to me in PR, that were just gifted to me in general, and I didn't really want to give them a label of here you're the very last one I've tried and here you're the very best one I've tried and here's all the ones in between, okay? So the way I've decided to do this is to get a great, like perfect, okay, and not good group, okay? I do have notes on all of these palettes, like my thoughts on everything, and I just took notes throughout the year, so I'd have some, you know, nice little talking points to give you guys. This is going to be a longer video. I'm going to go ahead and warn you. There are a lot of palettes. I've not counted. However, if you want to, please feel free to. <laughs> um, another thing, I'm not going to sit here and bash any palette that was gifted to me from the brand. If I have thoughts on them, I will definitely let you know, like, hey, it wasn't the best blending wise. It wasn't pigmented. I'm not going to sit here and, t here and tell you the palette was shit. That's rude. I would never just sit here and slander a brand, but I will give you guys my honest opinion on it, regardless if it was gifted to me or if I spent my money on it. Okay, there's all of that. So I'm very excited to get this video out of the way and let's just jump right on into it. Yeah, quite a few in my not so good group, the worst ranked group. Okay, another little tidbit of information. I just want to throw this out there. Just if a palette's in this group, and you use it and it's your favorite perfect wonderful i'm so glad you love it just because it didn't work for me it doesn't mean it can't or will not work for you okay that doesn't mean if it's in this group you have to you feel the need to go throw yours away or give it to somebody or sell it because no if it works for me if it doesn't work for me that's your preference is your preference you know what i mean so yes there's a movie in the background <laughs> i'm actually just gonna pause it i'm just gonna leave it alone okay <laughs> let's just get into this please don't come for me. These are my opinions. I've tried these palettes all multiple times throughout the year. Okay. <laughs> so yes, starting off the group that I didn't love so much. Okay. We're going to go from bad. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Working our way up. <laughs> this one is from Revolution. You guys will see. I love Revolution. They're one of my favorite brands. Um, I do find that their products consistently are not the best. They will have some that are perfect. They will have some that are okay. And they'll have some that just don't do it for me. Okay. But this one was from their Finding Nemo collection. They came out with last year, I believe over the summertime, early summer, maybe. I really loved the look of this palette. Specifically, it didn't have a name on the back of it. They just had a couple of these little, I think, eight pan yeah palettes i love the look of this one okay this was so beautiful the colors really spoke to me it was just a nice little summer neutral palette with a couple pops of really pretty teals right my problem with this was the mattes that you get the two three sorry this one is actually it even had a little turtle on it i don't know if you can really tell but it was so cute the three mattes that you do get just aren't really pigmented they're not really easy to build up they do blend out, but not the best. They're just not the easiest to work with. And the shimmers that you get in here just don't show up really well. So to me, in my opinion, it was just one of the meh palettes that I tried. It wasn't anything special to me. I did, however, you know, decide to keep it because of the little embossings on the palette itself. It's Nemo themed. I love the little collab palettes. So I did decide to keep this one. Um, There are a few palettes I tried this year that I did end up decluttering. So of course, those are not in here. Yeah, you know, if they weren't lucky enough to stay, I gifted them to a family member, you know, or a friend. So <laughs> the next ones I have to talk about are from Ulta Beauty. My grandma gave these to me. They all came in like a set. So all three of these came together. We have the Born to Shine palette. We have the Fearless palette. 
And this one's my favorite of the three. We have the Live, Love, and Flourish palette. Now, I actually really liked, sorry, my nose always itches when I'm filming videos. I actually really liked the look and the setup of these palettes. However, when we get to the gray palettes, you guys will see there's just a lot of top notch palettes in my collection. Sometimes it's hard for brands to compete with those. Ulta Beauty has never really been like an eyeshadow brand that I've absolutely loved. I've always found their mattes are just a little bit chalky. The shimmers just aren't really that sparkly. And unfortunately, these did not hit the mark for me. So I do think maybe I'll keep one, but the other two will definitely go in the declutter pile. But you know, if you are just someone who's starting out in makeup and you just really like to try new colors, this kit, if it's still available at Ulta, comes with all three palettes. I'm sure it's really affordable as Ulta collection usually is. I think it's great for a beginner or someone looking to expand their collection if you like affordable palettes. The next one is a little quad from ColourPop. Now, there are quite a few things that will get you into the bad category with me. One, if there's just not enough shades for me to really play with. Um, brownie points if it's a travel size palette though. You know, I'm never gonna hate on that. We all need travel size palettes if we go places and wanna do our makeup, right? Nobody wants to lug a 20 shade eyeshadow palette around. <laughs> But um, just not enough shades for me to play with. The quality might not be there. The color story might not be my favorite. You know, quite a few things can get you here. This one was on sale for like $1 and some change at Ulta when I got it, okay? It was like $1.75 maybe. So, you know, it was really affordable. You get one matte, two little diamond shades, which are like the matte with glitter, and then a shimmer. I just wish there were more mattes in here. I wish it was a bit of a bigger palette. I wish maybe this shade, the little diamond shade, would be a lighter matte. And then, you know, transition, darken shade, shimmer, and then like a little diamond shade, you know? It would have been much better. I just feel like they could have made that choice to add or replace a shade and it would have definitely been in the good category. The quality is fine. I just wish there were more shades. I don't really love conjunction palettes, like palettes I have to a buddy up with another one. It's just not really my thing, but I love ColourPop. They're very affordable. Just the color story for me isn't something I can really like create looks with and be happy with them. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Trio Chrome Palette. Now, this was gifted to me. <laughs> I love Natasha Denona. Okay, I love them for sending this to me. I was super excited to try it out. My only complaint, the only reason it got here is the multi-chrome, okay? It's just not multi-chroming for me. While I see the shift, I wish it was a bit more impactful. I wish it had a little bit of more, a little bit more shimmer to it. The mattes are beautiful. This shade's beautiful. Again, I just wish this little green, purple, blue multi-chrome had a bit of shimmer in it, a bit of pop. Um, because while it is very beautiful, I feel like that's what it's missing, and that's what got it here. I love that it's a miniature palette. I love that if you love blue like I do, blue is my favorite color, then you can take it traveling with you easily. It fits in a purse easily, you know, for touch-ups or, you know, just traveling in general. I really love this, but, you know, that one shade just really throws me off because it's the shade that I want to use, and to me, it just doesn't pack the punch I want it to pack, Okay. But I feel like people are probably going to come for me for that because it was gifted. But I'm just being honest with you. If it was more, if it had just a bit more of a shimmer to it, or even like a bit of a, uh, not glitter, but like a fine shimmer, I'd be really okay with that. It would make it into the great category. It's just sometimes that one shade can really throw The me next few in this category, I am a bit worried that people are going to come for me over. But again, palette might work great for you. It's just didn't hit the mark for me and that's okay please know before you come on here and yell at me it is okay okay please don't get your panties in a wad because i don't like it i'm gonna save the one i think people are gonna come for me most over for last that being said <laughs> this one is from p louise it's the fall in love with p louise now this is so cute i think for valentine's day coming up if you are a neutral girly this is the palette for you um i think i got it in a bundle and I just, okay, I love the colors. The shimmers are absolutely beautiful. They just, to me, have more of a satin finish on the eyes. These glitter ones, I don't know, can you see like how this little glitter part was just an overspray? To me, 
I need more shimmer. I need that P. Louise typical shimmer I love. And the mattes just, I don't know, they're they're okay. This was not great P. Louise quality for me. I do like that they're set up in little quads, easy for you to use like that if you like. I like to mix and match. That's just me. I really love the setup. I really love the idea. Quality, not so much. I wish it was the typical P. Louise quality we know and love. If it was, trust me, she'd be in the great, she'd be in the great group because it's such a cute palette. You know, if you are someone just learning makeup and you're, you like a bit of a more muted shimmer, not something like that really just shines, because some people do prefer a bit of a satin finish. You know, it's all about preference. You would really enjoy that palette, I think. It's just not for me. The next one is from Patrick Ta. It is the Major Dimensions, this is three. Yeah, Major Dimension 3. This was my first Patrick Ta palette I tried. I got this in the little holiday one with the blush blush quad. I guess it's got four blushes and four eye toppers in it. I got them at the same time, okay? I saw everybody raving about this on TikTok, so I thought, you know what? I could use a good all matte palette in my collection for some, like, individual shadows I have. So I decided to grab it. You get all these matte shades. Um, you get a warm row, cool tone row, and two cream shadows. I use them as liners because when I try to use them as shadows, they just get a muddy mess, okay? This, in, I don't know if I got a dud or what went wrong, it is so hard to blend. And, and we did a review with this and I feel like I made it work, but the amount of time I spent blending was actually insane. And the people that review this on TikTok are I'm 99.9% .9 sure they were gifted this or paid to give it a good review because I hate this palette. I hate this palette. If I didn't spend so much on it, I wouldn't have it right now. But the um, fact of the matter is I spent a lot of money on this palette because they are not cheap. And I've decided to try to make it work and keep her around, but she's just not my favorite, okay? <laughs> if I spend that much money for a palette, she better dang near well blend herself, okay? I do not want to spend 20 minutes blending out my shadows. While that's okay for colorful shadows sometimes, I feel like it's never okay for a neutral neutral palette like that, okay? Don't spend your money. Again, if you like it, good for you. It just shocked me that so many people like that one, okay? <laughs> and it's completely turned me away from his matte shadows. I love the toppers in the holiday palette, but that one right there needs to take a walk, okay? Needs to take a walk. <laughs> Humble herself. This next one is from Glamlight. Now, this is a brand that I don't really support anymore on my channel. If you guys watch me, you know that. I just think their customer service is absolutely shitty. They have went down. They used to be one of my favorite brands, and now I just don't want to buy from them directly anymore. I do, however, still collect some of the palettes. So, if I find them at Marshalls, I'm buying them. just don't want to support them directly anymore, and that's okay. That's my preference, you know. I just think that a brand should really watch the way they treat their customers and including, you know, my own mother, they decided to just call her a liar and bash her on social media and that's not okay um, for somebody asking a simple question over a product they purchased. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. <laughs> um, this one's the Chucky palette. Now, even though I don't support the brand directly, there are a lot of their palettes you will see in the great pile because not gonna lie you know they're still one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas I can't deny that this was the crazy in love little Chucky palette now this one I absolutely love the color story on I just I fell in love with it when I saw it and I wasn't oh god I have a hair sorry I wasn't able to get it the first time it came out because it sold out so quickly I think it was like the third restock they did second or third I got it I was able to get my hands on it when I got it though I was actually really disappointed in the lack of lighter blending shades in here and because there's not a lot of blending shades to really transition from these dark tones it's hard to get a good blend on this palette in my opinion the shimmers especially these kind of red ones and this one over here are a bit lackluster again in my opinion i could just get a dud with some of these palettes i don't know if maybe I did, but you know, it's just hard for me to get a good blend with this one. Um, I wasn't that impressed. I do, however, still just love the color story. If the formula would have just hit the mark for me, it would have easily been one of my favorite palettes of the year. I just, I've used it probably about five times. And while I do like the looks I create with it, I don't love them because I just feel like they're messy. And I know that's kind of the point of the palette, 
but I love a good clean eyeshadow look. I don't like that whole messy look. And you know, I just, it's not for me. That's okay. These, these two are also from Glam Wild. I was about to grab another one, but we'll do these two. I have the entire Hershey Kiss collection. The silver one, I did give to my mom because I just have other cool toned shades, but I wanted to go ahead and collect the rest of them while I was in my Glam Light craze because again, they were one of my favorite brands. <laughs> so I do have all of these. This is the Special Dark and this is the Cookies and Cream. So the Special Dark is the purple palette, obviously from the packaging. Um, I found that each of these really have like a special shimmer shade in there, like mine and this one is clearly this little blue to purple. However, I don't really reach for these because of the packaging and I'm going to be honest, unless the formula is, I don't really reach for them because of this hard to store packaging, okay? <laughs> there are two of these that I think made it into the Great Pile. Yeah, the Great Pile, okay? That's because the formula is just so superior, 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 superior that I am willing to use them even though the packaging is annoying. These two, the packaging is very annoying <laughs> and the formula is just not one that I really reach for over other blue or purple toned palettes. So unfortunately they see themselves here in the not so great pile. Okay, my least favorite pile palettes, <laughs> which is a dang shame, but unfortunately it is what it is. This one I got in my Snarls box Halloween box. Um, I don't remember if we unboxed that on here or not. I can't remember, but it is the Cursed Cosmetics. And I'm kind of disappointed in this one because this is a brand I've been wanting to try for a long time. But this is the Cursed Cosmetics Asylum 49 Haunted Hospital Original Fears palette. Wow, that is a long name for a palette. I love the packaging on this. I honestly think I just don't love it because it's an all matte palette with the exception of a satin shade and a couple of like diamond finish shades. Um, I find it hard to create cohesive looks with just this palette and I end up using it as a buddy palette or like a conjunction palette with other ones. And for that reason, I just don't reach for her as much. She found herself in this spot. I will say the matte formula in here is really good, especially the lighter shades. Like this is a very good lime green. I love this shade for like a blank canvas look. The white's really good. The black's really good. The gray even, Cadaver, that's a really good like transition shade for a smoky look. I just don't really reach for it often and I wish it had just maybe a couple of shimmers in here other than these little diamond shades because they're just not my favorite. You know, it, it acts like a matte, you know. The last palette in this pile before we move on to the decent palettes is from Blend Bunny. Okay, we did a video on it, you know, on here doing the three looks one palette video. So if you watch me, you have already seen the palette. You're probably not surprised she landed here. But if you don't, okay, I get it. Everybody loves Blend Bunny. I do too. You will see that later on. Okay, I have another Blend Bunny palette. She, she has her spot. <laughs> However, the Machina, unfortunately, while I love the idea of the palette, I love the color story, she didn't hit the mark for me, okay? The mattes in here just aren't as blendable as my other Blend Bunny palette, okay? I bought the palette because one of my really good friends was wearing Cyborg as a highlight, and I was like, holy crap, girl, what is that? And when she told me, I'd already been thinking about it because the color story is just really pretty. I have saw some tutorials from people who were gifted the palette, and I'm like, you know what? I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Bought it. Used it about four times already. Hate it. I hate every single look I do with it. I don't know what it is. I just... Actually, I do know what it is. Okay, I'll tell you what it is. I feel like the from the mid-tone matte to the light matte, there's just so much of a difference on a lot of these that I find it hard to, again, blend. Kind of like the Glam Light Chucky palette. I find it hard to blend. Like, the jump between this purple and this purple is kind of crazy to me. I would just wish there was maybe four mattes and a shimmer on each little column here. To me, that would have maybe done it and just like icing on the cake. While I don't mind reaching into it for like other palettes for the matte shades, I, I just don't know. I'm not in love with the palette like I want it to be, which is really disappointing because I love Blend Bunny as a brand. Um, it's one of my favorite brands of eyeshadow. Yeah, this one just didn't hit the mark for me, but she's staying in my collection and I hope one day I can 
maybe work my way around the palette and end up loving it and maybe she can work her way up into one of my favorites of 2024. Or who knows that might end up happening. I'm gonna continue to use her. She's not leaving my hands because again I just I love blend blending okay. so much. Now we're on to the really good palettes but not the superior palettes girl. Those are coming next okay those are gonna last. Um this is a pretty big pile too, okay? <laughs> this first one that here is in, that is in the good pile is from Morphe. It is their Heat Seeker palette. I absolutely fell in love with this one from the moment I saw them leak it on Instagram, I think it was. Really love it. It is a really good palette. The only complaint I have with it is that the shimmers are just kind of like a basic shimmer. There's no little, little like shimmer particles in them. They're just very satin like they're not that they don't really pack a punch that much the mattes are beautiful i really love this palette i just wish that there was a bit more umph to the shimmers okay if that would happen if they would have done that that would have been the perfect palette for me the next one is this wet and wild always blushing palette i absolutely adore this palette but i find that like two or three of the shimmers in here are hard pan and that did it for me okay <laughs> i love the palette I raved about it on TikTok. I still rave about it because I really love it. It's just a few of the shimmers you'll have a hard time with. Um, specifically, this one right here, the one above it, and this one down here, I think they were. You'll have a hard time with them because they're hard pan. But other than that, it's a great affordable palette. I've really been enjoying it. This shade up here is just my favorite shimmer to use on my inner corner. I love it. Wet n Wild does really good palettes, and I was very happy to pick that one up. I just wish that you know, the shimmers wouldn't be hard panned. <laughs> and if they were not hard panned, it would be in the superior pile. But little things like that will do it for me. Little things like that will do it. <laughs> this is one of the Corpse Pride Revolution palettes. Again, you will notice a buttload of Revolution and a buttload of Glam Light. <laughs> Two of my favorite eyeshadow brands. <laughs> I have all the Corpse Pride palettes. This is just one of them. Uh, the formula of this is fine. Okay, it uh, it's really good. I just wish there was a few more shimmer shades like I wish that there was a bit more purple shimmer shades okay because you have so many purple mattes in this palette but really only these two purple shimmers uh actually yeah three purple shimmers because that one's a shimmer too it's just like a satiny shimmer I just wish there was more purple shimmers okay I don't understand the placement of that one but you know to me it's just i like the other corpse bread palettes a little bit more it's a good palette but the quality is just not superior enough to land it in the top tier pile okay next one is the glam light scooby-doo creeps and crawls palette i don't have these in any particular order okay other than the three piles of not so good good and great okay so they're just they're kind of all over the place the glam light scooby-doo creeps and crawls palette i adore this palette so much it's a beautiful little grunge palette excuse me what would have oh my gosh excuse me what would have got this in the superior pile is if there was a lighter shade to blend these out with like you get these like you get these two that are a nice little gradient right you can even get this one to deepen it up but give me a lighter shade for the greeny colors okay give me like a mint green or like a teal pastel-y kind of shade to blend these two out with. It just ends up looking like a muddy mess when I try to use them and I have to reach into another palette for a matte shade. The shimmers are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. I really enjoy this palette. I do get the point of it being like a dark themed palette, but give me another shade to blend those greens out with. Okay, girl, you, you just disappoint me with that one. <laughs> with n missing the shade again i can reach into another palette but it just irks me a little bit <laughs> another revolution palette from the corpse bride collection this is the grave misunderstanding palette it's just a cute little neutral palette okay it's a really nice formula but when it comes to neutral palettes i have better okay love her love the packaging she's gonna be so cute to display but again just basic nothing spectacular this one is another one from the corpse bride collection <laughs> The Newlyweds. Okay, I love the tin packaging. These are really good formula. The tin packaging is actually my favorite formula from Revolution. Kind of hold it like that so I don't blind you. I like these colors a lot better than the Grave Misunderstanding. Very beautiful. I just wish there were more shimmers in this one. It's a pretty much completely matte palette. You get three shimmers, but again, they're pretty satin. They're not very impactful, and I wish there was just a bit more. Give me a darker shimmer in this one. 
I really do like the colors though. Again, they're just not superior. They're good, but they're just missing that little something that it needs to be great. This one's from Lottie London. This is actually two separate palettes that were available for purchase back in like Halloween time of this year, I believe. You bought them separately. I think they were like 14 maybe each, but if you bought them both, you could put them together as a little coffin. How cute is that? They're from the Vampire Diaries collection. You have Team Stefan, which looks like this. And then you have Team Damon, which looks like this. Really, the color story-wise, I don't know. I like them both. I think I prefer Damon just a little bit better. I'm Team Damon anyway. You know, you can't, you can't get me to go to the other side. But how cute is this? The thing that keeps them from being great, in my opinion, because the formulas are spectacular, I'm not even going to lie, is the pan sizes. They're so small. There's so much space in here. I don't know. The pan sizes are just so small. It's hard to get my brush in there. It's hard to even get my finger in there to get the shimmers. So I just wish they were a little bit bigger. But the packaging is adorable. The formula is amazing. Again, that little, that little pet peeve of mine of the pans being too small kept her from being great. This one is a depotted glam light palette. I did depot a lot of my glam light palettes recently, especially the big ones like the burger palette, the pizza palette, the paint palette. Oh, we have a broken baby in here. Oh no, <laughs> my purple broke. This one's the Paint Pro Volume 2. She's broken, but you know, it was a good palette. Um, the shimmers look very wet on the lids. I just, it, she wasn't spectacular. Okay, that kind of sucks because I really like that purple shade, but she just, she wasn't spectacular. She was just good. I'm going to kind of put her to the side so I can try to fix my baby. We have another Corpse Bride Revolution palette. Are they all in this? Yeah, I guess they're just all in the good category. <laughs> I really do love these palettes. They're just, you know, not my favorites. I love the artwork on this one. The shades are really nice. This is probably my favorite of the Corpse Bride palettes. The shimmers in here are very impactful. They're very nice. Again, it's just not one that I reach for often because honestly, when I look at the color story, I get a bit overwhelmed. There's so many different colors in here. So many different like depths and tones. I just get a bit like my brain gets fried a little bit, but I do enjoy using that palette. I just wish it was a bit more organized. Like put the similar colors together together it's kind of chaotic and I'm normally okay with that but for that one for some reason I just get scatterbrained and it's hard to create a look when I look at that don't think we were done with the okay palettes because we're not we still have a whole nother palette to go okay <laughs> I tried a lot of palettes in 2023 I was very happy to be able to try as much as I did very lucky to be able to try the amount of palettes that I try let's just continue on our happy way okay this is the Barbie glam light palette okay I First of all, it's coming apart. The packaging on this one is not great. <laughs> like the mirror is coming off of the front, but I really love the color story of this. Um, I really had no complaints other than it just wasn't one of my favorite formulas to reach for. So, you know, the colors are great. Shimmers are very pretty. I just, actually, okay, I had one coral with it. Give me a bit more pastel shades. Again, these are all kind of mid-tone pinks and purples with a couple of darks. I need some lighter shades. I do remember that was my gripe with this one. I got it earlier in the year, so sometimes it takes me a moment to remember like, ah, okay, that's why it wasn't my favorite, right? Right. I also put the Glam Light Scooby-Doo one in this pile. We did review this one on here. We used every single shade in the palette on here together um, for five different looks, okay? A look for each character. I really enjoyed this palette. I really loved the setup of the palette. My main gripe with this one, again, was the pan sizes. I wish they were a little bit bigger and I wish the palette wasn't as big. It's a very bulky palette for as much excess packaging as in here. I really love the shades. I really like have no quarrel with the quality of the palette itself. Again, it's just a bit of a bulky palette for the amount of excess space. Ooh, just when I think I'm kind of narrowing down the pile here, it's still massive, okay goodness the next one in our mid group here is the cover girl clean color palette my mom was gifted this one for free earlier in 2023 this is the shimmering beige quad i love this it's a beautiful travel palette especially if you're a neutral girly i wish there was more mattes it's my only complaint you get one matte and three shimmers the shimmers are beautiful the matte's beautiful but give me more than one matte shade i'm begging you I'm begging you. okay okay the next palettes from B. Louise, the next three palettes are from B. Louise. They are from the large advent calendar. Okay, this is probably gonna make a mess. I'm trying to do the bigger palettes first. 
I'm gonna make a mess. This is the Can I Have a Taste palette from the Advent Calendar. Now, we did use this, we did swatch the other two. I have used the other two as well, um, just so you guys don't think I'm only using this one because the other I do have the other palettes. I love this palette. The shimmers are really what make this palette for me. The mattes are really pretty. They're not as easy to blend as my other P. Louise palettes. However, the reason she ended up in this group is because every look I do with this palette pulls very, very orange. No matter what matte I use, it just pulls very, very orange. And I don't love that. Like, if I want to use this for a neutral look because it has neutral tone browns, I feel like I should be able to do that. And it just doesn't pull off that way. So I'm a bit disappointed with that fact about it. But, you know, it's a good palette. It's very pretty. The shimmers are gorge. If you love warm toned looks, you will absolutely love that. The other two are in here kind of for the same reason. They're just, they're really good for travel, which, you know, earn them a point in my book. But I just, you know, they're cute they're cute they're really good they're just not you know perfect and that's okay <laughs> they're just little quads and I like to have big palettes with a lot of selection in them um y'all will see that pretty much every palette that's in the perfect group are bigger palettes this is the Urban Decay Smiley Mucho Happy Naked Palette <laughs> This is a free gift. I actually love this, okay? You get a bone white shade, a little transition shade, a matte yellow, and then three shimmers. This one's almost like a duochrome kind of gold to green. I love the vibrant blue. I've used her once. I will admit I've only used it one time because amongst everything, I have a lot to try, okay? But I really did enjoy her. She's going to be a good travel palette. I, there were two to choose from when I picked it up. So it was a gift for Get to Ulta. And I really liked this one specifically because of the yellow and the blue. I think they just are really cool together. And my best friend's, one of my best friend's name is Smiley. So I really just loved the idea of the palette. I thought it was very beautiful. It's a great palette. You know, if you like Urban Decay's formula, you will love this palette. We'll say the shimmers are much nicer than most of Urban Decay's shimmers that I've tried. Haven't been the biggest fan of the naked shimmers in the past, but that one's really nice. This is from the brand I'm Meme. I'm Meme. I hope I'm saying that right. I've never really tried anything from here before, but I found this at Ross, I believe. It's a multi cube in the shade Hello Peach. I actually thought this was from Kaja for the longest time <laughs> because when I went to Ross, they had so much Kaja. Everything I bought seemed like it was from Kaja. So I'm like, okay, this must be from Kaja too. And then when I was using it, I'm like, this isn't from Kaja at all. It's from this little brand right here. <laughs> but you get four shadows in here and they're labeled one two three and four very cute very nice quality these shimmers are very cute they're not very not very mm, like impactful or like you know but they're they're cute little everyday shimmers but what also really got me about this is it had a blush in it and it is number five so you could use it as a shadow or you know it is a big blush pan so i like it as a blush beautiful really love the quality of this um i just wish that these shimmers were a bit more shimmery <laughs> okay they're very cute i just i really like the palette overall it didn't disappoint me it's very nice for travel i have brought it on vacation with me before because i don't have to carry a blush and you know what it's easy it's really easy to use love the colors also i wish this was a bit more peachy of a shade if it's going to be called peach, give me a bit of a deeper peach shade and then let me kind of blend it out with that one. You know, um, it doesn't get this shade to me doesn't give peach, but I understand why it's there. You can use it as a liner. You can use it to darken your shadow up. You know, those are my gripes with it though. Why do I keep having to burp? This one is a Pat McGrath palette. This one is the Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana palette. I think it was a holiday palette sometime. Not really sure on that. Like, don't quote me because I don't really keep up with holiday stuff. I just keep up with collabs that she does because I love the Bridgerton and I lusted after the Star Wars stuff for so long. <laughs> but this is what she looks like. Okay, I really like this. I really love the mattes. I really love specifically just two of the shimmers. I know, just two. Um, I'm trying to find which ones they are. They are this one right here and this one right here. They have a beautiful metallic formula to them. The rest of the shimmers, in my opinion, just are pretty lackluster. Um, other than this one is like a kind of chunky glitter almost. Um, yeah, it's really foiled kind of. But the other shimmers, in my opinion, were lackluster, satin finish, not my favorite. 
So that's why she made it here. Because I feel like I wish the shimmers were all that very beautiful, wet looking shimmer. Like the two that I like in there are. You know, if they were all like that, trust me, she'd be one of my favorite palettes. <laughs> easy, easy. This one from Creature Cosmetics is the Dead Eye Duochrome palette. Now we did use these as well. I love these. I just wish that the they had a bit more shiftiness to them. If they had a bit more of a shift to them, then they'd definitely be in the great palette pile. But you know what? I have other duochrome palettes that I just prefer, but I'm very happy to have her because I really do love it and I love the packaging. I love also love the fact that she has a mirror that comes with it. Like, how cute is that? It's a great palette, though. If you're looking to try duochromes, I really recommend it. I just wish these had a bit more of a shift to them. And that's just my preference, and that's okay. These next two were gifted to me from Sparky Cat Cosmetics. I do have a discount code with them. It is code LISSA. Please feel free to use it if you want to try anything from them. But we have the House of Aubrey Unicorns palette, and it did come with a brush. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. We have a row of beautiful glitters and a row of some really cute pastel mattes. I love these palettes. They were really good. The shimmers, or sorry, not shimmers, the glitters in here are a bit chunky. I will warn you of that. Um, that's what really just kind of made me not crazy about the palette because I do love these matte shades. It's just the glitters, when I tried to use them, were very chunky. They didn't want to stick to my lid. Um, and I do have glitter glues that I use. It's just, to me, they were a bit hard to use. And I have other glitters that I like. So that palette is really good. Really appreciate them gifting it to me. It's just, I don't really do pressed glitters and palettes like that, you know? And then we have the baked eyeshadow palette, which is fantastic. My gosh, I love a baked eyeshadow formula. This is one of the only ones that I've tried that I actually kind of get along with. Because the other ones I've used in the past, I just find they're not really pigmented. They're very hard to use. I feel like I'm literally scraping the shadow to get any pigment. Not with these. These are very easy to use. Very beautiful. Beautiful finish. I just love how blurred of an eye look you get with these. I kind of want to call like these baked shadows in here like eye blushes. Because you know how a blush can like blur the skin and they give your skin like this beautiful sheen? I kind of want to call these eye blushes because they just do that. They're so pretty. I love that palette. It's a really beautiful palette. This next one, the last one in this kind of okay category <laughs> is from Morphe. It is their new Aura Escape palette, the 35Y Artistry palette. Okay, I love this. And when I look at this, I do feel like I get that on the inside, right? It's beautiful. So many cute shades, okay? I love this palette. I have only used it twice, I think. Twice? Yeah twice and I really like it. I love the mattes specifically. The shimmers are kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> My gosh. There are a few that are lackluster and then there are a few that I feel like are hard panned and I kind of have to get in there with my brush and spray it to use. So, you know, I feel like if the shimmers were a bit better, I would really enjoy this palette a lot more. I do love the palette though. I've used it two times. I definitely plan on using it some more because I love the mattes. But yeah, this is a really nice Morphe palette, y'all. Let's get into the top category of my spectacular palettes I tried in 2023. Gosh, the pile of palettes that's on my vanity and this isn't even all of them. So my vanity has a little glass top and because these palettes are kind of heavy, there's a lot of them. I don't even have all of them up here yet, okay? But first, I wanted to go over my Revolution palettes because there's an overwhelming amount of those. Again, it's one of my favorite brands, okay? I When I like something, I like it. <laughs> the first one's from their little Fortnite collab. Yeah, y'all, Revolution did a Fortnite collab. How cute is that? <laughs> this is their little Loot Llama palette, and I just fell in love with this. It's got a nice mirror. These are totally my colors. <laughs> it's perfect, in my opinion. Beautifully executed nine pan palette. I love the mattes. I love the shimmers. They're absolutely beautiful on the eyes. I just think it's such a cute palette. The shade names, the little imprints on them, everything was perfect in my opinion. So glad I picked this up. I was actually able to find it at Walmart, which shocked me. Another one that shocked me was the Beetlejuice palette. Okay, Beetlejuice is my favorite movie of all time. So when it comes to anything Beetlejuice related, especially with makeup, I'm going to be a bit critical on it, okay? But this one, it looks like a suit. Like, come on now. And this palette, I just feel like the colors really screamed Beetlejuice. The mattes are so beautiful. There are some satins that I actually really like in here. The shimmers, everything about this just really, really made me fall in love. Yeah, 
Okay, I liked it. I don't think it came out this year, but I did find it at TJ Maxx, I believe. This one did come out this year. It's the DC collab with Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. And I really liked this. It was really cute. You do get a mirror on both sides. Try not to blind you with them though. Um, the colors are really great. I feel like they've really represented the two beautiful comic book queens. Um, the shimmers were really nice. A couple of them are hard panned, but you know what? You get a few beautiful ones that just kind of made me overlook that. Um, yeah, I really like this palette. I loved the colors. I love the finishes of a lot of the shades. The mattes are really easy to blend out. And I just overall love the artwork on it too. It's a beautiful palette. Do have um, my next two are from the Friends collab, and then my next two after that are from the Game of Thrones collab. And so the first one is the little taxi palette from Friends. We did a look with this on my TikTok. Okay, this is beautiful. This is 100% my neutral bitch color story. The mattes in here are stunning. The shimmers in here are really nice. And then what really grabbed me about this one when I tried it is like three or four of these shades are like a putty or like cream texture and they just they're, they're wet on the lids they're stunning i really love them kind of like a color pop super shock it really gave that impact of a shimmer that i like and i was able to layer them nicely with the powder shadows so i really loved this palette um i feel like my friend's makeup is just a bit more sentimental to me now um i feel like if you love friends you you really cherish the stuff that you have now. Obviously, it's never going to be the same with Matthew Perry gone. Um, yeah, so I just I really enjoy my Friends stuff. This is the little Thanksgiving Friends collab palette with Makeup Revolution. I really enjoy the color story of this one. When I think about Thanksgiving and the tones, these are the colors I think of. When I think about fall in general, this is kind of the color story I think of. And I just really enjoyed it. It doesn't have those little putty textures that the taxi one had, which was a bit disappointing, but it really had these beautiful neutral shadows in here that were really easy to blend. I love kind of the cranberry tones you get in here. It's just a very beautiful palette and I really liked it. I really enjoy Revolution's palettes. Their collab palettes are typically really good. And then I have the two Revolution Game of Thrones 10 packaging palettes. Again, th these 10 pan, 10 pan, these 10 packaging palettes are some of my favorites. I do also have the last one I had to add to my collection, but I've yet to try it. I do have the Mother of Dragons, but the two that I tried last year are the Winter is Coming and the Three-Eyed Raven. So here's the Winter is Coming palette, which is clearly a blue blood dupe from Jeffrey. I just really enjoyed this. I don't have that Jeffrey palette. I do have a lot of his, but that one's not one of them. Really love the mattes in here. You get a few really beautiful kind of metallic -y kind of foil texture shimmers in here. I like the grays. I like the pops of neutrals. I really enjoyed this palette. Then the Three Eyed Raven one was just a nice little neutral bitch palette. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I really enjoyed it. And I really love the fun pops of pink you get in here. Again, it's stunning. These shimmers in these are just really special. They're my favorite of the Revolution palettes to try. The Haunted House palette in this tin packaging has forever been a favorite of mine. And I just think that this was a bit more of a neutral, laid back color story than the Haunted House palette. And that's why I wanted that one so bad. Now here's the Mother of Dragons that I've not tried yet. I did co complete my collection. Super excited to try this one. But yeah, those are my Revolution palettes that made it into the Superior group. I'm sure she'll be in the Superior group for 2024 if she's anything like those two and she's from the same collection. So we already know Talk she's going about a few more. I do have a Wet n Wild palette that made it into the Spectacular category. Marilyn Monroe is one of my icons in the beauty industry. And just in general, I absolutely adore her. There are photographs of her all over my wall. And I just, I loved the Wet n Wild Marilyn Monroe collab. This was their little eyeshadow palette they came out with. At first when I saw this, I swore this was like a pressed glitter in here. And it kind of just turned me away. The pictures online made it look like a pressed glitter. But it's a metallic bronzy shade. And I absolutely love this palette for traveling. I love it for everyday little go-to eye looks. It's the perfect formula. It's just amazing. They nailed it. This is the ColourPop Rhapsody palette. Look at the butterflies. I love this so much. Y'all, Marshalls was trying to sell this for $25. Ma'am, no, they didn't even retail for dang 15 I don't think. Less than that, but this is such a beautiful warm tone palette. I love it for traveling. It's just gorgeous. Two mattes, two shimmers, and a little diamond matte. The quality of ColourPop shadows, like 9 out of 10 of the times. 9 out of 10, I feel like 
they nail it. I also did get the Twilight collection. I got the palette, both of the highlighters and the red eyeliner. So we'll be trying that out when it comes in. Super excited to have gotten my hands on that because I know it was like a dog fight in line to get it. Literally an online shopping like line. You had to wait in. <laughs> it was crazy. And then they launched it also and sold out in minutes too, I think so. Wild. But anyway, we do have a Pat McGrath palette that landed her way in the Great Pal. This is the Star Wars Sith Seduction palette. It is an all shimmer palette, which is also very rare that an all shimmer or an all matte will make it into my great pile because a lot of the times I have to use other palettes with them, you know? So it has to be really special for me to use a, for me to have like a buddy palette in this pile. Sassy's up and wallowing. She's playing. I really love this though. These shimmers are very beautiful. They are that kind of foiled texture I was talking about in the Mothership palette that I really liked. So yeah, she made it in here and I also love the color choices. Um, they didn't really scream like Sith colors to me, but I did love them nonetheless. Like I really love this kind of fiery orange with the gold shimmer. I love this deep forest green. I just really liked everything about this palette. Another all shimmer palette that made it into this pile was the Urban Decay Moon Dust Space Rider palette. This is an eye topper palette. Four shimmers. Absolutely beautiful. Will you focus please so we can see that shade? Thank you. I really like this. You do get the OG Space Cowboy in here and three other beautiful topper shades. I really enjoy them. They're just very glittery, very ethereal kind of looking and I really enjoyed this palette. She stays in like my middle makeup drawer where I can just pull it out and easily see all my toppers, my like loose shadows or single shadows. She stays right up front because I use her all the time. And then we have an all matte palette that made it in here. Surprising, surprising, right? <laughs> it's the Melt Bailey Syrian Fatally Yours palette. Now I didn't keep her with this um, group because she was in a basket by herself with the other products from this collection because I'm waiting to use her for with a collab with my friend that also bought the entire collection. But I did make sure to grab her before I started the video because she's one of my favorite palettes of the year. Look at this. All mattes. A beautiful, grungy dream. I really just loved her so much. I love all the tones you get in here. They're so fun to play with. And I still actually need to do a look with this collection for you guys. So that's another reason she's in the basket by herself. But yes, she's one of my favorite palettes I tried last year so excited we do actually have another palette in my giveaway pile so when we hit 10k on tiktok we do have one of these that's going to be in the giveaway somebody's going to be winning a whole drawer full of makeup and this brand new palette my duplicate is in there so i love this palette love the entire collection i didn't have any gripes with it at all it was so beautiful the next palette i have is from Too faced it is their italian spritz palette I really missed them having this tin packaging. I was so excited that they brought it back. And this one still smells so tropical. We did a, I think we did three looks, one palette video with this one, didn't we? I think we did. I absolutely loved every look I did with it. I've done quite a few more looks since then. And again, I still love it. It's one of my favorite palettes to reach for. And I really just love Too Faced formula that they put in this. This was a really special unique palette from them in my personal opinion. The shimmers are just fantastic. The mattes blend so beautifully. I think my favorite shade in here is definitely this matte right here. It's so beautiful on the lid. I just really love this palette. It was very beautiful. It was a pleasant surprise from Too Faced because I was kind of at a point with them. I just felt like everything was kind of looking the same. It was just all kind of washing together. It was like, when are they going to give me something different? And when that finally launched, it was pretty dang exciting. I was I was looking for it everywhere. I was like clicking on Ulta every single day to see if it was in store. Like, yeah, like has it came to store? Has it came to store? Has it came to store? <laughs> and I was just, I was so excited to go grab it. This one's from Jeffree Star. It's the only Jeffree palette I tried this year, I believe, or last year, 2023. It's the Gothic Beach Collection. This one I was very excited for because to me, again, I was like, Jeffrey, you've already done all these color stories before. What are we, what are we doing? What are you doing? You know? And when he launched this one, I was very excited for it because it was different. And it easily is one of my favorite palettes of the year. I mean, look at it. It really reminds me of a Beetle News theme palette. I don't know why. I think it's the purples <laughs> and these beautiful kind of like grungy, um, whiny kind of colors. And you get a pop of green. That's very beautiful. I just really loved it. Every look I did with this was very beautiful you know, I had no bad words to say about it. The mattes were stunning. It is a mainly matte palette. Um, you get, let's see, 
one, two, three shimmers, and then like two kind of diamond shades. They're like ultra sparkly diamond shades though. I really did enjoy this. The colors are mainly dark. You get a couple of light colors to blend stuff out with, but they're mainly dark and I'm okay with that because the quality of this is just outstanding. I love Jeffree's palettes. Say what you want about him, but I've never tried a palette from him that I didn't just absolutely love because the quality's always been there. Now these are the four Glam Light palettes that managed to make it into this spectacular category. These are the two Hershey Kisses palettes that made it the um, Lava Cake and the Milk Chocolate with Almonds. I love these two. I really love this for beautiful like Valentine's Day looks. This shade up here is like a beautiful pink with like lime green and blue glitter in it. I don't know. It's just so unique. I absolutely love it. Like, the camera doesn't even want to pick it up. I don't know. I just really love this palette. I love the tones of pink you get in here. I just really enjoy using it. And then this one's like a warm tone neutral palette with a beautiful gold shimmer. And like a really pretty kind of rose goldy shade as well. Really like this one. I love that you get a black in here. It's really easy to use if you are someone who just likes one and done monochromatic palettes. I really like these from Glam Light. They really just blew me away. The Kellogg's Frosted Flakes palette also weaseled her way in here. I have actually only used the first row of colors from here, I think. I don't even think I've touched the blues. I've definitely swatched them, but every time I use this, I just reach for the top row because it's just so pretty. And I felt like every look I've done with this using that top row has just been so good. I've loved it every single time. I definitely need to use the blue rose though, so I'm going to keep her out so I can use them. But she let alone, just for that top row only, made it into this pile because it's just a dream. It's a dream to blend out. It's a dream to use. I love the shimmers. It's easy. I love doing cut creases with that top row. <laughs> this was my favorite Glam Light palette that I own. Okay, it is my baby. And I was so excited to try this whole collection they came out with. It was the Rick and Morty palette. I love the highlighter palette. I love the lipsticks. <laughs> I love this. I like the setting spray too. It's just not my favorite. This is my favorite Glam Light palette I own. Okay. This is... I love it. I just love it so much. Oh my gosh. She was kind of at the bottom of the drawer. I had a whole drawer just smack full of every palette I tried last year and she was kind of hidden away at the bottom so I'm so excited she's out again. Definitely tall of that shade right there and that shade and that one. <laughs> yeah I'm so excited to use her again. I just looking at her gets me so excited. I think I might be out of my neutral makeup rut okay. <laughs> just looking at her just gets me so excited. The mattes are stunning. The shimmers are just phenomenal. I really can't wait to use her again. We still have a whole nother palette of palettes to go home through. Stretch but we still have a lot to go. <laughs> So this one I have up top is from Morphe. It is the Lunarius palette. This one was such a unique color story for them, I feel like. I tried it at the beginning of last year. I just really love it. You get these bigger pans that have like these putty, super shot kind of like shimmers in them. You get a lot of mattes. You get a cream to like kind of, it's kind of like a cream, in between a cream and a white. Okay, it's, it's very pretty. You get a black. You get a couple of little transition shades or deep inner shades. Really pretty, I don't know, like a taupey shimmer. And then like the duochrome brown to blue shimmer. I really loved this palette. Every look I've done with it was just so stunning and it was very special and unique to my collection. And easily one of my favorite palettes of the year. It's, it just, it hit where it needed, it hit all the points it needed to hit. Do you know what I mean? It's even like, a decent size I feel like you could easily take it traveling with you I have not but I feel like you could easily do that I also have the polite society Santa knows when you're being a bitch palette I have the spring one too and I love them both so much um, they actually gifted this one to me for my birthday they sent me a birthday gift with their mascara and the lip plumper in it which is my favorite products they have and then they also sent this over I was so excited thank y'all so much if y'all ever happen to run across this video y'all are one of my favorite palettes of the year this is what she looks like, and then you open her up. She has five mattes and four shimmers. Now, these shimmers are unlike any I tried this year. They are a putty, but they leave the most beautiful wet look on your eyelid. I just love them so much. They play so nicely together. It is a stunning 
palette. And I love this unique packaging that it has. Everything about it, I wanted it for so long and then they sent it to me and I was like, okay, you know, like, thank you. <laughs> Happy I didn't purchase it, but if they would have gifted it to me, I would have had one to put in the giveaway pile, but yeah. This is actually like a duochrome blue, like a purple to blue. She's very pretty, love the pink. It's a bit sheer, but it just has the most beautiful pop of color to it. If y'all are interested, the spring one is right here. It's going to be in the January Speed Reviews video. This is the Forget Social Media, I'm Dope in Real Life palette. And it's just very wearable, very pretty, even with like these pops of greeny kind of shades. It's very beautiful. But yes. Love their palettes. <laughs> This, these next two palettes are from Chelsea Smith Cosmetics. Um, this one was in the advent calendar and then the next one was actually gifted to me during Barbie week that she had. So this one was in the advent calendar. It is a little quad. You get two mattes, this beautiful blue purple duochrome and then this white pink duochrome. Y'all, this is so special. Beautiful quad to work with, so blendable. The mattes are absolutely stunning. I really love this little quad. It's an easy little, travel palette as well it just again it hit all the points it needed to hit for me in order to make it to this pile you don't have to be a huge brand or you know like sold in Ulta or Sephora to make it here you really don't and y'all will see that there's a lot of palettes still that are small brands that made it to this pile that being said this is the Diamonds Gotta Shine palette from Chelsea this was the one that was gifted to me along with her um, Let's Go Party lashes this palette was just so phenomenal. I think she only charged like 20 something dollars for this palette, y'all. Again, I was lucky enough to be gifted, but what really made the palette for me, the mattes are beautiful, the shimmers are stunning, they will have a very wet look on the lid, but the glitters are what did it, y'all. Especially this one right here, if you look at it in the mirror, can I, okay, how do I do this now? Okay, you see it up here, it looks blue. And then in the pan right here, it looks like a purpley pink. It's a duochrome glitter. I've never seen that done before. The glitters in here are just so finely pressed in here. These are glitters that I enjoy using in palettes because they're just that pretty. There's a holographic glitter, there's a pink glitter, three pink glitters, a teal glitter. <laughs> this palette just did what it needed to do for me and I love it. I love it. Chelsea, I love you, Harry Godmother. You did the damn thing. You did it. One of my favorite palettes of the year. Stunning. Okay, ABH dropped their Cosmos palette this year. Um, again, easily one of my favorites. Uh, we did three looks, one video, right? Three looks in one video with this. Loved it. Loved the duochromes. This was, again, a pleasant surprise, just like the Too Faced Italian Spritz. ABH was kind of doing everything that kind of looks similar to past color stories they've done. I collect these little palettes that they do like this. I am missing quite a few, but I was very excited to add this one to my collection. She actually came on my cruise with me this year and I loved it. I loved using it. I have a couple from ColourPop here. Three, I believe. One, two, yep, three. The first one's the Alice in Wonderland collection. ColourPop's another brand that I just absolutely adore their shadows. This one is the Lost in Wonderland palette. Now this one was unique to me. I know a lot of people had mixed reviews on it. I absolutely loved it, okay? The shimmers in here were very beautiful. I love using this little fuchsia shade right here on top of a black base. It's so beautiful. I just really loved it. There was something different about it. I think when I looked at this, I saw this, and that was kind of cool to me, like to be able to see the color story very clearly from the packaging, you know? It's very beautiful. The product itself, like the quality is there. It's a beautiful palette, just like the ColourPop Rudolph collection. Uh, these are all collab palettes that they've done, by the way. <laughs> Everyone that I have here from ColourPop is a collab palette, but this is the Rudolph palette. They originally launched it in 2022, I believe, and then relaunched it at Ulta in 2023, and I picked it up. Beautiful. Uh, my palette with this on TikTok has so many likes. It's such a beautiful wearable palette for holiday season or just any time in general. It's so beautiful. The quality is amazing. These shimmers are blinding. Blinding. Seriously, probably some of the most blinding ColourPop shimmers I've ever used. That one really blew me away. And they're not super shock, I don't think. I think they're just the regular pressed formula. Amazing. The last one from ColourPop to make it onto my superior list. Again, these are the highest rated bitches in my collection for 2023, okay? This is the Winx collection, and this one again just blew me away. The color story, I was like, what? 
something they haven't done before. <laughs> Bright pastels with some unique shimmers. Like what? I love this palette. I love this palette. I love a good colorful story. And again, I'm going to keep this one out because just like the glow light Rick and Morty, it's making me want to play. It's making me want to play. And I think what was so special about it to me was specifically this row and this yellow was just so different. I love this super shock up here. Pure magic. It looks like pure magic. Okay. Period. I can't wait to use that again. The next few palettes I have are from Indie Brands, and I'm very excited to share these with you guys. So the first one's from Jolie Beauty, and again, this came in my Snarls Box Halloween box. This is the Sirens palette from Jolie Beauty. It comes with a big mirror, and I really, I really love this. Yes, you get some glitters. If you're not a fan of that, okay, if you just go on, go on, it's fine. You do get like two beautiful duo chromes in here though. This one is a blue to purple, you purple? blue and then this one's like a dark green to light green kind of i think you can even see it in the mirror yeah. look okay the purple blue one purple blue purple blue are you looking in the mirror like this shade right here purple blue <laughs> i could do that all day that's so cute um i really love the quality of this palette the shimmers are just special the mattes are really easy to blend they're grungy but yet they're so stunning on the eyes I really just love this. I'm definitely going to make a TikTok with it soon. I just, it's so beautiful. I can't believe I haven't done one sooner because I've had it since um, Halloween time or before that. Again, I just, even some of the shimmers look duochromy or the glitters rather look kind of like shifty. Yeah, I just really love this. I love it so much. It really reminds me of the dark murky waters you would expect a siren to come from. And it's just enchanting, like you would expect a siren to be. I really like that palette. 10 out of 10, a brand I've never heard of until that. Um, Snarls Box actually had their own cosmetic line, I think they released this year. You know, 2023, the year I'm talking about. <laughs> and I got three of their palettes, their eyeshadow palettes, in the Halloween box. I love these. I was so blown away by the quality of these for it to be a new brand. It just blew my socks off. This is the Wanna Play palette. I love the packaging. I love the color stories themselves. The shimmers are truly, truly some of the best I tried last year, okay? There are quite a few duochromes in every one of these palettes. I think my favorite shades in here are definitely this one and this one. I just dug my finger into that one. But yeah, they're just very beautiful. I like the color stories. I like the amount of effort and thought that Marie puts into the color stories and naming the colors and everything is just from the packaging to the product itself to the ideas and the thought and the hard work sweat and tears put behind it i'm sure <laughs> she just really nails it and i i appreciate that in a brand the next one is the hello barbie palette i love ghost face i really love this color story it was a bit different um Again, you get some very beautiful duochrome shimmers in here. The mattes are really nice. I really like the play on both the teals and the pinks from Barbie with the like blood reds and the black smoky tones from Ghostface. I really liked the uniqueness of this palette. It was very beautiful. It was a pleasant surprise because you don't really get unique color stories like this often. So I really like that one. And then the Snarls Bay and Jack palette. Look at little baby Oogie, how cute. Um, I love this palette. This palette, again, really sparked my creativity. You get some beautiful pastels and neons as well as some gorgeous, like, lip-smacking duochromes. Beautiful. Um, I actually use this palette quite a bit. I love it for my vibrant looks. When I first got it, I'm like, you know what? I don't really know what I want to do, so do you know what I did? I used every single shade in here in one look. <laughs> one eye look. I did that. Oh, yeah. I love two, that. no, three more little indie brand palettes to talk to you guys about in my top category. And then the rest after that are P. Louise, okay? Because P. Louise is one of my favorite eyeshadow brands. <laughs> or makeup brands in general. I just really adore P. Louise. Um, their products are really good. This one is from Creature Cosmetics. Now, they are such a cool indie brand. They're based out of Atlanta, I believe. I'm in South Carolina, so I'm super close. This is the Terrifier little mini trio palette the i think it was called the art crispies palette okay y'all know we did the video trying everything out that i got from them this palette 
is amazing, okay? Look, the glasses come off. Everything from Creature Cosmetics is really special in my opinion because I know it's officially licensed. They have everything on the packaging, everything on the website. The amount of thought they put into the packaging alone is enough to really sell me. But the fact that they keep the like the product itself very affordable, there's a mirror on it, as well as the quality in here being fantastic, just it it's unbeatable, okay? It's uncomparable. I really love it. I love this palette here. While you get two mattes, a black, a white, and then a satin shimmer, it is still just so, so good. The quality in here was enough to put it in the top for me, even though it's a three pan palette. Okay, stunning. They're in blush sized pans, so you will never run out of these. And if you do, it's a very inexpensive palette. It's so affordable. I actually love the brand. I didn't expect to love it as much as I did, which again, it was a pleasant surprise. I was very excited to get it. Very excited. I love it. And how cute is this going to be to display in my little vanity? The next one is an all duo chrome palette from a small brand. I was so excited to try. I found them on TikTok. They show me a lot of love and support, so I wanted to do the same for them. This is from Glam Gold Boutique. It is the ice cream for ice cream palette. It's an all duo chrome palette all shimmer palette. We did a video swatching every single one of these on our hands and our eyes and I just love this palette. I try my best to incorporate it in every single look that I do and I just I really enjoy this palette. The shimmers are very soft, very buttery. There's a few of them that have more of like a putty texture. I like the difference in texture in the palette. It really just adds some variety. And the amount of shades that you get in here for the price is really good. You can find it on sale. I know there are discount codes you can use. It's just a really good palette. And I highly recommend it. I, I love it. The last little indie palette, um, I guess you could consider Pure Louise Indie. I don't really know. It's a UK brand. But this is the Blend Bunny Lure palette. Now, this palette from Blend Bunny was really special to me. I loved the packaging, first of all. Again, another siren-based eyeshadow palette. <laughs> this is the color story. God, you can tell I love that purple, don't you? <laughs> At first, I wasn't really sure because, again, it was a new formula to me. It was the first time I'd ever tried their brand. I got this um, early 2023 when it first launched, and I was so excited to try it. They have a multi-chrome in here, and we did a three looks, one video palette with this. Three looks, one palette video with this. I cannot talk. Anyway, I really enjoyed the quality. For me, it was just a bit of a learning experience trying a new brand for the first time. And over the months, I really learned how to use the palette, how to blend them together, and really just how the mattes work. And I think that was the biggest learning curve for me, but I have learned to love it. The shimmers are really what makes the palette for me. I'm gonna be honest, I love them so much. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful palette. So. Since I already knew how the mattes worked, getting the Machina palette, I was very excited going into it. It was a bit of a, like a turnoff for me when it just wasn't the same quality as this. But again, it's probably something to where a little something in the formula might have changed. They might have thrown a little something different in there and I just have to relearn to use it again, which is completely fine. I'm going to do my dang best to make sure I can. Because when you get a palette like that, that's that special. You don't want to just have it and not get use out of it. My last three palettes are from P. Louise, and I'm so excited to share these with you guys. I love P. Louise. I love them to death. <laughs> Some of the stuff they do might be a little bit sketchy, like those advent calendars. Some people that ordered them did not get them, and y'all, that was a bit bad. That was bad. But I, I got mine. I was, I was fortunate enough to get mine. I did mine. My mom got it for pre-order back in August when they first released the pre-order. And they got it to me. I was very excited to get it. It was a birthday gift. But yes, a lot of the things they do I think is sketchy. Products themselves, however, I would say about 80% of the time deliver quality-wise, packaging-wise, 100% of the time, okay? This one is the Droplet of Magic palette, which we got in the October budget box, I think. Now, it does have a little heart-shaped locket on it. I don't, you know, you can pull this around here slip this through the little hole and put your little lock on it and then here is the key. I don't keep it locked just because I, I don't want to have to unlock the palette every time I get into it, okay? I got the lock hanging on my vanity. I just keep it open. Keep it open. It's a double-sided palette and a lot of people hated that. I actually did not mind. This was the palette that I wanted of the two they had. I would, ow, I would still like the other one. I'm not gonna lie, but you got some beautiful eerie kind of 
turquoise smoky tones on this side and they all have like Halloween themed names and little embossings on them as well. You get another mirror and some beautiful reds and purple tones on this side. How beautiful are those purples? How beautiful are those freaking purples? I love them. I couldn't tell you which side I like better because I like them both. <laughs> I love them both. I use this palette so much. And honestly, like just to have this sitting on your vanity, my vanity's black. I've got a little witchy aesthetic going on. I've got witchy signs and little potion bottles everywhere. So to have this just kind of sitting up there next to them would be so cute so cute the next two palettes i have are massive okay i have the wedding wish xl which come on we all know her we love her um i honestly oh i struggled to create looks with this at first until i realized okay they are rowed out for you okay you have your row of neutral mattes and some shimmers of course your row of neutral shades your row of more cool toned shades and of course you don't have to use a pie rose i just find it easier to do that way okay your row of more warm tone shades another row of warm tone shades and then your row of like pinky mauvey kind of shades right i just keep scratching myself with this big ass palette i really like using it that way of course you can mix it up do whatever you want but since i've learned that i can use them by rows and that they are kind of more organized that way i i like it 10 times better the mattes are stunning. The shimmers are these beautiful metallic formulas. Um, some of the best I've tried. I really love P. Louise shadows. If you're looking for a neutral palette that has every neutral shade you possibly want, Bridal XL is it. If you're looking for a colorful palette that has every colorful shade you could possibly want, AM to PM is it. We did do a swatch video, a try on video, and unboxing with this. This launched um, with the UK Black Friday collection they did big mirror here's what she looks like is that not beautiful mattes shimmers beautiful everything i could possibly want this was i saved the what i think is one of the best for last because in my opinion i could happily get rid of all my other rainbow palettes if i really wanted to and just keep this one i'd be fine will i no because i love my rainbow palettes but she's beautiful the formula is perfect i've yet to create a look with this that i second thought Every look I've created with it has just, in my opinion, been perfect, and I love it. So, yes. Guys, that's it. That's all I have. That's all the palettes I tried in 2023 that I kept. Hmm. I'm so excited to be able to put these away now, finally. <laughs> to put them on my shelves and store them away for use and to start a new drawer. It really just feels good to clean out the drawer, to talk about all these, to get my thoughts out of my head, finally. Yes, I'm very excited to share these with you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's going to be a long one, and I apologize because there's a lot of palettes. Again, I didn't do a count. I probably won't just because I don't want to. There's so many. <laughs> there's too many. Yeah, I'm just going to sip my wine and not think about it. Seriously, though, my next video, well, I have a couple planned. We, we're going to be doing the Melt Bailey Seri and Fatally Yours collection try on video um I don't I mean you know I've already used it several times I just haven't filmed the video okay so it's not gonna be a first impressions we're just gonna be having fun doing some looks with it also gonna be doing a if I could only keep 10 palettes what would they be video of course that's all hypothetical because your girl likes to collect and have options okay <laughs> but if I could only keep 10 what 10 would I keep that's gonna be the next video we upload and then, of course, January speed reviews are going to be coming at the end of January or beginning of February. I'm going to do my best to get those uploaded at the end of the month or the beginning of the next month just so I can keep myself on track and know what I've got going on, okay? Also, trying to get rid of my stool I'm sitting in and just have my little gaming chair as my makeup chair as well because it's so comfortable. I just got it. <sighs> I think that's everything I had to tell you guys. I love you guys so much. If you stuck around with me this long, one, 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 one. Come here, let me give you a big smooch. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to see a tutorial with any palette I've shown today, please, please, please let me know. I will upload it to TikTok and then I will upload it here separately. It will be a short form content video, but I'll get it up for you guys. Just let me know what you want to see. That's what I'm here for. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great 2024. I'm manifesting nothing but good vibes for you all, babes. Good night.